I don't, I don't know how this intro is gonna even look like. Oh man, I haven't played in a while. I haven't played. No, I mean I have played, but like. Loading screen is gonna it's like this loading screen is gonna take like five years. Okay, let me start. Fast travel. Okay, well, I should have read that before. San Francisco. I guess. Welcome to Watch Dogs 2. I decided to actually start a playthrough of this game because I honestly have not really played that far into the game and I thought it would just be kind of interesting. I did play through this part and uh, I think a few missions, like four four missions, maybe. I'm not too sure how many missions there are in this game or what's the story like, even, you know. But, uh, hopefully it will be interesting. I was actually debating if I should play on keyboard or on keyboard and mouse or controller because controller would be probably more silent but keyboard and mouse is apparently a lot easier to can I just knock this guy out how do I do that okay that works so F is punch people in the face can I like steal his gun does he have a gun has a gun let me steal that gun this game doesn't allow me to steal this guy's gun Mm hmm. Alright. Let's go down here. This is gonna be a really interesting game in playthrough. I, by the way, I have been sick uh, for the last uh, few days, which is why I was not able. Yeah, so basically, I've been sick for the last few weeks, which is why I wasn't really recording anything at the time. And I'm kind of excited to do this, actually, because, yeah, play true, why not? I think that's interesting. How do I uncrouch? I'm just, I'm just crouching everywhere. It's just like auto-crouch. What's this? Is that supposed to be a whole thing? Up here, up here, up here. Just crouching all the way. Uh, press V to follow it at the flow curse. What does this do? Oh, so this is like Eagle Vision. Cool, cool, cool. Ubisoft. Ubisoft and it's like, you know, Eagle Vision. I guess it's Tech Vision, because hackers. Yeah, that does it. Okay. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. Not in. I'm gonna ninja it. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Problems is why you keep me around, right? Uh, okay. Time him. I'm curious. Interesting. Too late. Is this guy's like like using like gamer username really called retro though? He just plays retro games. Get ninjured. Ninjured. This is such a like, weird weapon. Oh, this is how you crouch. 
<laughs> that does not sound cool. The home domain awareness hacker. <laughs> That's, that does not sound cool. Like, badass whatsoever. I just... I cannot open that. Okay, what do I need to... I'm blind. What do... Okay, I need to go over there somehow. Is this seriously, like... Oh, wait. Hack camera. Okay. Let's see. Is there, like, another camera I can just... Hmm... Listens to old school rap. Wow. Am I doing something? Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. That makes more sense. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Wait, what? What? What's that all about? Wait, what? Oh, wait. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Please tell me that's... That should be it now. Go. Going through there. Okay, so melee is the F button. He was raised in Oakland, but was born in. <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's not cracked. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Uh, definitely smart. I've played stealth games before, totally. Who just shot me in the face? I am definitely stubborn. No one can touch this. Anyone else? Shh. Wow, that guy just shoot at me. Chill, man. Don't you shoot at me like that? Okay, that was just weird. What's that? How do I rob him? Good. Okay, so what is going on here? This is really interesting. I actually cannot wait to actually progress further into the story, actually. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as a prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time. Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system. Always in the system. Okay, I'm just gonna melee this guy. What, what's the point in the taser suck? Why did everything just go... Don't have much time is my middle name. That doesn't sound good. Okay, what's going on up here? So I have to go further up, I'm assuming. Tasers suck. In. No, that doesn't look right. Something, something is wrong with me. Oh, there's a ladder here, okay. Man, this is a really awkward playthrough. Especially seeing that my first time ever playing this mission actually went quite smoothly. Yeah. Wow, it's hot. Play some Minecraft while I wait. <laughs> well, I'm just, you know, while I'm waiting for the data. Okay, 
The creeper blew me up. What I find really interesting like is I was I was in a call like with one with one of my friends, right? So like I was setting up everything for the recording and stuff. And like I was in a call with them. Okay, what's up here? Just I think I okay, why did I roll? Okay, so let's see. Why is it giving me Control and stuff. Let me unplug that. It's no sense. Huh. Oh, wait. I am not doing things correctly. Like, there we go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> it's been a while. What the fuck? Why is my threat so This guy just, you know, he saw things, man. I could just... <laughs> but then the recycling bin. <laughs> and create online profile. Okay. These are not. What is all of this? I am. Huh. None of these look good. Is this dude? Why not? Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. You got unfinished business. So. Bag him. Yeah. Wait, what? Ethan's out of cold. We got an intruder. So I'm assuming Bloom is, you know, the abstergo of this of this universe. So many options. Uh, trigger function. F to create proximity trigger. Shut down. Proximity trigger. Okay, that's interesting. That's not going to do anything. Right, there we go. And that is a way better taser than the actual taser. Bolton. I'd give the taser one more shot. I cannot jump down. Why can I not jump down? Oh, 
face. Just bolting. Doors, let's go. Feels wrong. There we go. This is gonna be my Batman scene where I just disappear. Hold it right there. Mm, nope. Bye. I still need, I still need context. Like how? And now I'm bagged. Okay. Thanks, man. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Hmm. Many believe the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion the Internet of Things now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move. Building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. That's just Supply freaking terrifying. And home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be reached remotely by anyone at any time. You That's may not terrifying. Think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are hmm. now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. Interesting. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping mm -hmm. forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting their <laughs> on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. I mean, 50-50 on that. Hello? <laughs> Welcome to Dead Zone. Man, this is so cringe. I'm Zatara. This sweetheart is Josh, aka Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I love your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. <laughs> this weirdo's wrench. The needs of the day. Live long and prosper. Is Horatio. What's up, brother? It's me? It's the crew, huh? Wow. It took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. <laughs> Some rules won't fit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. Big brother and little brother. Everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. I actually really like that mask. No, sledgehammers on fire. All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card or your house or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I'm fucking no mind. Fuck it! Man, this guy's having a hissy fit. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out there. And activists. Don't forget about activists. Rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. That's 
guy. Good time. They're like, what? <laughs> I like the guy's mask, he's awesome. I want a replica of that mask. Hey man. Do you have the time? Oh yeah, man. Uh, I got it. I got it. Why is he touching my phone? Night run, isn't it? Hey, where you put you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you look familiar. That guy is not evil. He seems nice. Just, just random jogger, you know. Did he just chuck his phone? This, this, <laughs> the main character of this game is having a uh, drunk hissy fit. That's nice. I literally was talking about something earlier, and I just completely forgot why I was talking about. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, I was while I was setting everything up, I basically wanted to ask my friend a question about this game. And oh, of course Ubisoft presents. I ended up basically being in the call foam for an hour. It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. And he's a the best of friends, so helpful. Oh, wow. He has pink undies. I forgot he had pink undies, man. I like how Ubisoft has this trend by like having like the game's title just pop up like it's like fully presented in the beginning of the game. I kinda like it. Pretty good. <laughs> Those undies, man. <laughs> it's poop and unicorns. I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk the shame on my first day. And app store. Can I download Clash of Clans? I heard that was a popular app. Okay, that's fine, so. Return. How much cash I have? That should be enough. Pistol. I should already have that, I guess. Should probably already have that, I guess. Ubisoft Club. Um, I should probably do that type of thing, but. Okay, well, assuming that's M. Where is the nearest clothing store for me? I guess it's over there. I can fast travel. Sure, let's do that. Yes, I'm fast travel. Let's just get some clothes. And oh man, fast travel is actually pretty boss. I don't think I want to. Be... Nope, I'm not. I'm not going. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Maybe I guess I'll give it a shot. Oh. Move. Yeah, yeah, sure, you know, maybe just like you know if you're such a good person, maybe you should yeah. Okay. okay. This looks <laughs> No. This looks no. How about this? How is that? Ah I like it. I get that. Any like good? Mm. Yeah. Looks 
Good. Keep that. Footwear. Nope, I am think I'll keep the footwear that I have. I don't really need a new bag. Uh, I think this is good. How do I disarm myself? Alright, Sitar. So where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. How do I not equip my gun? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Bye. Actually, you know what? I think I'll end this episode here. And we will probably continue this on the next episode. But yeah, if you did enjoy this, uh, I would really appreciate it if you could uh, support my channel and by leaving a like and subscribing. And you know, yeah, leave a comment. And you know, I will see you in the next one. Bye!